Um, I've seen this happen repeatedly, and I just think this is just such a, a funny um, little tale of tinkering. But I've seen um, you know, a kid grab a big, thick piece of 2 by 4 he puts it in the vise, he's never sawed before, and, he, and you know, he's just sawing and sawing, and I'm seeing him out of the corner of my eye. You know, it takes a while to cut with, uh, through a 2 by 4 with a handsaw. And, I, and, um, and I'll see him out of the corner of my eye, like, you know, should I go help him? I, I could tell him that we have more powerful saws or we could use a power saw. But, um, you know, I kind of have a rule of, you know, until someone comes and asks me for help, I try to give them some space. And, you know, because you never know that, le you know, that level of concentration, that's really valuable. You know, he hasn't asked for help. He's actually having a really good time sawing. And then he's just sawing, 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 sawing. And then he actually makes it through the piece of wood. And, and there's just like this, <laughs> this triumph, this excitement. Like it's, it's just really, um, I think it's just really beautiful to see. And then it's really hilarious. Like, oh, thank God he made it through that big thing two by four. He goes and gets another one. So it's sawing, sawing, sawing. So he's not leaving with some beautiful finished product, but he's having this really satisfying experience, um, just experiencing sawing. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, that's valuable and, that, and that's, that's going to build. And then, you know, there'll be a point when he creates something that looks great to us.